Hello, hello everyone. Water Bear here with a quick message, all right, about this Virgo energy, this Virgo new moon we're in, and what it means for the collective and you personally, okay? Um, I have been really busy moving from Colorado. I'm currently taking a little pause in South Carolina, and then we'll be moving to my final destination next week. So I'm very excited about all of that. Um, trying to get caught up with videos and everything, y'all. Stay tuned, okay? Um, which is giving this Virgo energy. This is exactly what this time is all about. Really getting reset. Um, really getting refocused. Um, but the energy of this specific new moon in Virgo is very interesting because there, during the new moon, there was an exact square from um, Mars and Gemini, okay? Now, this is both mercurial energy. Mercury rules over Virgo and Gemini. So to be this challenge between Mars and the new moon, which holds for the month, so this is the energy of the next month, um, both in mercurial signs, it means a lot of people are going to have a lot of things on their mind that may conflict, okay? Different beliefs within your head, you know, maybe I should do that, but I'm nervous about this, or I, I want to move forward with this, but I have these anxieties about this, or I have, I, I have focus here, but I also want to do this. Um, you know, Gemini is the energy of sampling and kind of trying to explore and experiment. And Virgo was about discernment and figuring out what's the best option. So there's going to be a lot of like options and a lot of thoughts and a lot of having to funnel that down and find the best possible way to move forward. Um, which is the main energy, you know, I, I expect with this energy, new moon, you know, Virgo conjunct, um, I'm sorry, new moon, Virgo square Gemini energy that Mars there, um, a lot of confrontations around um, different viewpoints, okay, a lot of confrontational conversations, um, all about different viewpoints, okay, um, in order for us to discern the best resolution, the best um, plan, but a lot of people are going to be a lot, um, I wouldn't think, in the beginning of this new moon phase for the next few days... I would let things calm down, okay? Um, because I feel like um, with initially, especially as this Mars um, Gemini um, square to the Sun in Virgo um, continues for the next couple of days, everyone's minds are a little scattered. We're trying to figure things out. And so trying to get clarity from anyone right now may be a little difficult, okay? Um, so allow things to process. And also, this is happening within yourself, you know? As you are resetting and trying to get things replanned, um, really allow yourself to go back and forth in the mind about what the best choice is, okay? Because we're building to the full moon in Pisces. And I want to say two things about this, okay? First thing, Pisces is the last zodiac sign. So this full moon coming up, we're going to be seeing the results of what we've been focused on, number one, since um, the new moon in Pisces six months ago, but also what we've been focused on since... March the 20th of 2021, okay? Because all of that energy starting at the spring equinox from 2021 is now going to be wrapping up currently, okay, with the Pisces full moon. And so just going back and thinking of everything that's been happening since then, because this is that kind of culmination time that we're building to, okay? Pisces also is very karmic, okay? And a lot about karma and a lot about... Um, certain patterns and how the the ethereal realms can come and influence our lives okay and how it's not just us down here free willing it we have a lot of outside forces you know whatever divine forces whatever you want to call them god spirit guides high yourself whatever you want to call it um th that plays in our relationship with life as well it's not just us okay this is going to be seen during the pisces full moon that we're building to next week okay um and so based on your focus currently based on your discernment based on the choices you're making in your mind um this is going to play out and show the results of what's going to come and the thing about it is this full moon is conjunct juno in pisces and juno is the energy and, the, and focused a lot around commitment okay and a lot around um what we are loyal to or what we want to commit to, okay? 
And so with this full moon in Pisces, what's going to end up happening is one of two things. <laughs> if you've been following the flow of um, basically alignment over this past few months, okay, with all these retrograde planets trying to really test us on a lot of lessons. Um, if you are following your intuition, you know, and um, you got to know kind of what your things are. You know, for me, a lot of a lot of karma with me comes with speaking my truth. Okay, I have North Node and Sag, so a lot of my life comes with following my vision and, and, and being passionate about that, having faith, and allowing myself to speak my truth, okay? And so, these lessons have been coming around, and I have been doing that, okay, in whatever ways. Um, but if I was not, you know, and I was still repressing, keeping it in feeling that rage inside um why is the same truck like going back and forth i don't understand but if i was it to keep that in you know not follow my visions follow other people's visions of my life this full moon in pisces would show me that that i don't have the things that i'm committing to are something that is going to bring me a lot of um detriment okay um, and I, it's going to show me that I actually do not want to commit to this thing. Okay. Now, if you, you have been following and actually feeling like, okay, I'm growing and honoring myself and moving in a certain direction and listening to the flows of life and not kind of avoiding things or resisting what it is, um, you will notice that this full moon will show you opportunities to commit to things. Okay. Full moon in Pisces that will allow for the new reset with the new moon in um, Libra coming up, that will bring us to the full moon in Aries, which will show us the beginning of new starts in our life, okay? Um, you know, we can't really have... Full moons show you things in your life. New moons are about, you know, setting intentions, but you see the results around the full moons, and we've been having full moons in the last zodiac signs for the past six months, meaning that as we're creating, setting new intentions, this is why it's been hard to kind of see them growing, okay? Because we've still been reaping a lot of the past things from a year ago, okay? And so now, with this full moon in Pisces, this is the kind of the last focus of energy from now through, from March of 2021 through now, okay? Then we'll have the new moon in Libra, and that'll be able for us to reset and move onto a focus of focusing on our outer collective okay people outside of ourselves we've been rebuilding our inner focus for the past six months as we've been seeing what what's been happening in our life okay things culminating and um now is this time of release and this time of karma and this time of seeing what you've been putting in over this past um year and a half and then um beginning again beginning anew okay i'm excited for this libra um new moon um because it's conjunct venus and it's a lot of this libra venusian harmonic you know harmonic energy okay now you could get lost into um trying to create the balance too much and not speaking your truth but i feel that this energy is going to help balance things out okay even currently with this mars squaring the new moon for this whole next um that energy holding for this next month. Mercury, the ruler of Mars in Gemini and the new moon in Virgo is in Libra right now. Okay. And so um, Libra is the energy of harmony and balance. And, and so it's about not one or the other, but finding peace and harmony in a lot of situations. Okay. Um, looking at other side, you know, others perspectives. That's very Gemini. Okay taking the time to put yourself in their shoes. What, what is, if I was in their perspective, if I was in their space, how would I deal with this? How would I feel? Okay. And then that can allow you to have more discernment f moving forward. Okay. Um, if you have different ideas, you know, different plans in your life, start to envision these certain things happening. Okay. Um, and seeing and discerning, does this feel right for me? Does this, you know, wh what's the best choice? Okay. Um, and then also dealing with the polarity of your will with things outside of yourself. Okay, I'm going to be talking about this a lot more on my channel because I think this, you know, you can manifest anything. Um, mentality in the spiritual community is a little toxic, a little, a lot toxic. Because we have to take account to, number one, 
limitations in within yourself okay also limitations systemically all right not every person can get everything they want in this society okay there's literally systemic things that prevent that okay um and so we have to take account of that and also we're connected to the divine and we're connected to to a lot of things outside of ourself and so um you know, solely focusing on your benefit may most likely exploit something outside of you. So that's why a lot of things take time, you know, and you got to wait. Divine timing is real. OK, because it's about the blend and the har harmony and the, um, you know, making sure everything is, is happening in a way that is ending up in fairness. OK, um, over time. So saying all that, y'all, over this next month, really, really focus on not being too hard on yourself or others in the mind in conversation um and ideas and processing this is not the time to have it all together we're about to go through a whole mercury retrograde in about a week um which is going to be a time of reassessment okay refocusing all right we're gonna have the mercury retrograde begin in libra really helping us to see okay what are the patterns? What are certain things I need to focus on? How can I bring more harmony in my life? What are other people, you know, doing? What people in my life do I need to focus with? What people don't I need to focus with? How can I beautify and bring new love and joy and harmony in my life? And then it's going to retrograde back into Virgo, the energy of discernment and routine. And we'll be able to, after we've had a lot of dec decisive planning on how to have more harmony in our life, we'll be able to figure out grounded ways to implement that. Then we have Mercury go direct in the beginning of October, um, shortly after the new moon in Libra, okay, which is conjunct Venus, really helping us again to bring more harmony. Then we have the full moon in Aries, okay, um, which will happen after Mercury is direct, okay, and right before Mars starts to really slow, to slow down, okay, and this is our, and Mars is the ruler of the full moon in Aries, so this is really showing our kickstart. Okay, new beginnings for us in October, um, n new new potentials. Okay, but seeing that Mars will be stationing and slowing down to go retrograde in a, in a couple in a little bit, few weeks, the new beginnings are going to be a time of slow and steady wins the race. It's not gonna you're not gonna feel that everything is as you wanted initially. Okay, and that's a good thing because a lot of times we think we want things and then we end up realizing that's not what we want. So to take more time is way better, honestly, even though it feels kind of shitty, you know what I mean, in the moment. Um, and this North Node right now is in Taurus as well, focusing on finding value in things and slowly growing them. Okay, so take time. You know, I love seeing this right here. These plants here. Um, because a long time ago, oh my God, the plane. Oh wow, and it's a jet, wow, okay, so. I don't know if y'all can see that. Wow, hilarious, so I literally am speaking about my father and he um, worked on jets his whole life basically and he passed and I, um, so it's crazy that the jets are flying as I'm talking about, and they're still making noise as I'm talking about him and what I'm about to talk about. So just to wrap up, um, these, I think they're called banana plants. I don't remember exactly, but they're really stunning, these plants here. And I remember a long time ago, maybe like 15 years ago, 20 years ago, uh, my dad planted like four, like just right there, you know, on the very start of it. And... Um, just look at what happened over time you know what i mean every year they come back bigger and bigger and bigger um and that is something that really is a focus and a um testament of the north node in taurus and this next focus for us slow and steady wins the race you know and planting um intentional seeds can grow a great harvest okay this is a time of seed planting coming up okay in october and stuff and we're gonna have the time coming you know prior to that to really reassess what's good for us and not so really make sure that the seeds you're planting are going to grow a harvest like this okay um because once the seed planting time is done if you planted crappy seeds you're going to have a crappy harvest while others are having this <laughs> so um yeah that's what i have y'all thank you so much for tuning in 
Um, again, letting y'all know, you know, more things are coming out. I'm in the middle of moving across the country. Um, took a little pit stop down south. And so there's a lot of things that I'm trying to catch up on. Emails, videos. Um, I'm still doing services. So check my website for that. I just updated availability a little bit. Um, so yeah, there'll be a lot of online classes coming up as well. Um, I'm very excited for, I'm very, I'm still connected to, um, Ritual Craft, which is a metaphysical shop out in Denver that I was very excited to be a reader for, for almost a year. Um, and so I'm going to be doing in-house, not in-house, I'm sorry, virtual classes through them. Um, so look out for that coming up soon as well. All right. So much love y'all. I'll talk to you later. Enjoy your day.